Here's what you need to know if you're planning to use the Sony Alpha 99 as a video camera. With a full frame sensor and interchangeable lenses, it has few competitors. There are idiosyncrasies, but it's a powerful camera with interesting and some unique features. My review unit came with the Carl Zeiss 24-70 f2.8 lens. That combination is about $5,000, so this kit is clearly for serious photographers and movie makers. The Alpha 99 and the lens look, feel and operate like quality, precision instruments. The image quality is exceptional. Whether I was recording juice, performing at 3030, or birds at a feeder. And it has all the capabilities you'll need for professional video production. The camera has an external mic input, as well as a headphone jack, essential for recording quality audio. Pros may want to add Sony's optional XLR audio adapter. There's an HDMI output, so you can view the scene on a larger monitor. There are slots for two SD cards. You can record video to both at the same time. The control dial to the left of the lens can be assigned multiple functions for silent adjustments during video recording. Press and hold the controller to activate, turn to select the option you want to control, then press again and turn to make adjustments. This is obviously a powerful and useful feature. There's a dedicated movie mode on the mode selection dial, but the movie button works regardless of mode. Watch the top left. The camera displays M for manual still mode. When I start recording video, the Alpha 99 switches to program video mode, again displayed in the top left, instead of manual video mode, so I'd recommend you shoot video in movie mode for full exposure control. It's worth noting that in movie mode the shutter button doesn't stop or start recording, while shooting juice, I found I was continually taking my eye out of the viewfinder to stop and start because I couldn't find the movie controller. The disabled shutter button is much easier to locate while shooting. Let me back up, because shooting video while using the viewfinder is not possible with other DSLRs. Typically, movie mode turns on live mode, so you must use the LCD. However, the Alpha 99's translucent mirror design means that the mirror doesn't have to move so the viewfinder is always available, even in movie mode. That said, it's not an optical viewfinder. You're seeing an electronic representation of the image, which offends some purists. I find it useful, as it provides a realistic view of what's actually being recorded, and at your option, a lot of additional information as well, like this level. In addition to the LCD screen and an external monitor, it's a nice option to have. I find it much easier to follow moving objects with my eye on the viewfinder. The HDMI output can be set to 1080p or I. Screen captures from the camera in this video are made using the HDMI output. You can set the HDMI info display to off, which is actually a dual display mode. The HDMI out is a clean feed, while the LCD or viewfinder provides the other display modes. The LCD is wildly articulated. You can turn it to see while you're in front of the camera, while the camera is low to the ground or high above your head. You can even turn it sideways. This enables both low angle shots or high overheads. I'm holding the camera about two meters up on a monopod with the LCD pointed straight down. Let's adjust the settings for video. Press the menu button to display the menu. The joystick controller is used to navigate and press to select. This is not a touch screen. You may wish to turn on grid lines. There are three options. I prefer rule of thirds. Peaking, which shows the edges of objects in focus, displays on the viewfinder and LCD but not the HDMI output. In addition to peaking, a green square illuminates when the object underneath is in focus but the Alpha 99 zoom focus magnifier is only available in still modes. Let's set the movie exposure mode to manual. Press the function button, only to find out that the Alpha 99 requires manual focus when using movie modes other than program. Disappointing. Before we switch to manual focus, let me demo the autofocus as I tilt up from a pine cone about 50 centimeters away to mountains in the distance. 
and with the flexi zoo nice fast accurate after switching to manual focus you can now select the movie exposure mode serious shooters use manual to keep the exposure consistent I'm not sure of the rationale for requiring manual focus if you want manual exposure control so let's review the rationale for shooting in manual mode I'm lighting this shot with an LED lamp and I'm going to put in a color filter to simulate incandescent lighting and then turn the light level down the camera keeps compensating to provide a nicely exposed shot and when I turn the light off completely it's as if I hadn't made any changes for as useful and worthwhile as this might seem to amateurs shooting under uncontrolled conditions this makes pros wince they want to be able to manage all aspects of a shot when a character in the scene turns down the lights they want a dim room they would not be happy unless they have complete control of all settings to establish exactly the mood they want so here are the same adjustments in manual mode I'm setting the white balance to incandescent the shutter speed to 1 50th the aperture to f 3.5 and have set the ISO to 100 now when I turn the light down and turn it off I get the dim room I want even if that means I'm underexposing by two stops to further defocus the background I made adjustments to the aperture ISO and the lighting and now I can get a dramatic change of focus to the characters in back these are the kinds of effects that a full frame sensor a good lens and manual control offers a full-size sensor with 24 megapixel resolution also enables the Alpha 99 to offer a digital zoom that provides minimal quality loss over optical zoom once enabled on the smart telecon button you press the button and use the control dials or the joystick to zoom it's somewhat awkward so not really usable while you're filming there are two pages of video settings the Alpha 99 can record in either AVCHD or MP4. I edit on a Mac and I prefer AVCHD. The resolution and data rates are higher. The only supported resolution in AVCHD is 1920 by 1080. You can shoot in the video compatible 60 frame mode or the cinema simulating 24 frame mode. The data rate determines how much information is captured per minute use the highest data rates 28 megs per second for 60p 24 for 24p a different version of the Alpha 99 not sold in Canada supports 50 frame mode there are lower data rate options for 60i and 24p formats squeezing a little more memory card space at some loss of quality but you didn't compromise when you bought this camera so why compromise on this buy another memory card or two and a bigger hard drive steady shot reduces the field of view slightly here it is off and then on turn it off if you're using a tripod in practice I found that steady shot provided a good assist for handheld shots there's a confusing setting here for the silent controller pressing the controller itself is much easier on page 2 select audio recording on or off and whether or not the wind filter is used on the internal mic you can adjust the audio level but it doesn't disengage the limiter a minor complaint to check mic sensitivity I recorded this quiet outside scene and changed the f-stop using the aperture control dial if you listen carefully you can hear it click using the silent controller eliminates the clicking the level display provides a bar graph of the sound levels on screen in all display modes processing delays the video displayed on screen using the output timing you can select whether the sound you hear in your headphones matches the actual live performance or is delayed to sync with the video display the headphone volume is set on the play menu for both playback and record monitoring although the external mic or an external audio recorder will be preferred for professional purposes I found that recording the sound of water or juice performing at 3030 to be useful for ambient purposes 
at the maximum 60p data rate, a 32 gigabyte card will hold about two and a half hours of video, using 24p about three hours. You can record to both cards simultaneously. Length of recording is displayed at the bottom of the screen. Remaining space in minutes of recording time is displayed at top of the screen next to the memory stick icon. The remaining time icon flashes briefly as you run out of space and then presents an error screen. If you're recording on one card, you'll have to switch manually to start recording on the card in the second slot. I'd love to see this happen automatically, maybe with a little overlap. Movie modes have a time limit on all DSLRs. I've heard several potential explanations for this one. European import regulations, FAT32 file size limits, overheating. The reason really doesn't matter. Just be aware if you're planning a long recording, you'll have to find a way around it. On the A99, you can record a little over 29 minutes. Then it just stops recording. And as soon as it does, hit the movie button to start recording again. Sony's Alpha 99 is a high-end digital camera with pro video capabilities. It offers a great deal of power and control for movie production. But it's not for the faint of heart or the shy of wallet.